swear to God, Gary, there must have been 50 police cars around him, tow trucks. Who would? The whole Stevenson was blocked off. They stopped traffic on Lakeshore Drive for him. Who would want to go to jail for popping him? Nobody's going to shoot Dan Quayle. Not even a crazy person. Nobody's going to shoot Dan Quayle. Nobody. It's not Quayle season. But really, I mean, how much money do we waste on this little nerd? And what's gained by popping and him? And here I am, Steve Dahl, forced to wait in traffic. A Chicago legend, a, a treasure, a regional treasure, a Midwestern treasure. I gotta wait for Dan Quayle to go by? With his ugly wife in the back, with the horse teeth and everything, and the, the wallpaper dress. Mary Tyler Moore hair? I gotta wait for them? I don't think so. I think that being through the loop where it was in 1981, when, when it was one of the w most ridiculous managerial decisions to make to take this job, to where we are today, it's obviously more than luck. I always give credit to my people and I always say that they've been a terrific part of the success and they have. I'd be crazy to think that they haven't. But it was difficult to persevere through all of the ups and downs and I'm talking about years of red ink, years of pitching banks for more money, years of pitching owners not to sell the signal, years of saying this guy Brandmeier's gonna work, stick with him and he did. Years of saying we can get Steve and Gary, don't worry, they're okay to be on the radio and they are. Um, so, I can't really call that luck. There are a lot of the elements that have fallen into place that have been lucky. But you couldn't be, there's, none of the successful stations in Chicago are successful because of luck. It's too competitive. 36 stations out there hating each other, stealing every idea, ripping stuff apart, degrading you all over the country about how bad you are to your clients and sponsors. So, it's pure warfare out there. So you can't just be lucky and be successful. But there are lots of elements of luck. There's no question. I'm lucky I have the people I have. I'm lucky I have the family I have. I'm lucky it's Chicago. Mr. Jim DeCastro, a great gentleman, a fine uh, president and uh, officer of the uh, broadcasting company, which I work for. Whoop. Commercial. Say that? Watch this. Folks, like people saying, you know, a radio personality, what does he do? <laughs> what, he sits in there and plays records? I'm going to show you something. I just pushed a commercial, all right? Let's face it, it's entertainment. This is not brain surgery. If you don't like it, you can turn your dial. Well, no one's asking you or forcing you to turn your dial. But there are obviously enough people out there that continually love it and come to it because it's the only place they can get it. That's why GN is nervous. They know Bram Meyer is better than Collins. They know that Dahl and Meyer are better than Spike O'Dell. Um, and those are the top guys. It's the greatest radio station in the world to work for. Great signals, easy people to work with, the whole staff. They pay you terrifically, and they try and help promote your career. We want Johnny to do well with his video. We want Steve and Gary to do well with their stores and their contests and their restaurants. We help them. We promote them. I want them to be millionaires because they're happy. But money's not going to take them anywhere. If they just have enough money and just don't want to do it anymore, take a microphone away from one of these guys for two days and see if they don't want to have something to do. So they want to go to a warmer climate that they, that they could do. I'm prepared for that. i got to find the next one. Who's the next one? Kevin Matthews. What's up? How's it going? I'm a first-time caller. I just want to tell you how great your show was. First-time caller? Yeah. Then let's play Larry King. Ready? Hey, mm. I, I can do... Hey, right, hey, 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 hey! I'm ready. Chicago, hello. Larry, is that you? Yeah. No, oh, it's man. me. It's Kev. Oh, you Did you hey. think it was Larry King? I thought it was. I know. I you want me to it do was. it again? You're, do it again. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Chicago, hello. <laughs> you're, hey, you're getting better and better. I know. That's all I want to be able to do, too, is just say that. Hi, Norm. Norm. Hi. Hi, Norman. Hi, Kev. How you doing? Norman Bates, everybody. How's hello, Mom? Norman Bates. How's Mom? <laughs> She's fine. Norman! <laughs> In the rock. And Norman! <laughs> How's Jimmy? Fine, Ma, Norman. Hey, hey, listen, did you see uh, Entertainment Tonight last night? No. Nope. Uh, was uh, Lisa Gibbons on? Yeah, and uh, what's his name? You know, she never John called. She never called us back. She never did. No. Yeah, she's she, a big star. Well, she's getting married. Is she? Yeah. To who? To some English actor. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so much for that. I think she's mad at us. <laughs> because when she that? came in, Entertainment Tonight did a piece on us, and I think there was some electricity between us. Between you and her? Well, there was a cord that was frayed. And if, if it weren't for the loop, 
I'd honestly be out of radio because I hate radio. I hate it. With, I just, it's just, uh, there's idiots run it. Idiots run it. There's, and I'm not, and I'm not saying this because Greg and, and DeCastro or, or whatnot are, are going to see this. Um, they're like, you know, family to 